I'm going to be 58 the day that I induct Jake Roberts into the Hall of Fame. That's it's amazing. my birthday. There is no better birthday present you could have. We've been filming the movie uh, Resurrection of Jake the Snake. It's a documentary we started 16 months ago. It'll, be, it'll have a button on it on April 5th because that's what it was about. Resurrecting a champion to where he needed to be after 20 years. Sure. Triple H, a year before, we'd run into each other at a radio. We were both, he was doing PR for WWE and I was doing PR for DDP Yoga. It was out in LA. And he knew I wanted to bring Jake last year to the Hall of Fame. Sure. Just to there. Because you know, we were doing a signing uh, at WrestleCon, which we'll be at this year again. We'll be at WrestleCon on Saturday. I'm also doing a DDP Yoga workshop on the Friday before down in New Orleans. And uh, I just wanted to bring him to the Hall of Fame last year. And uh, you have to be sober for a year. WWE has certain rules, and that's, that's a good one. And, uh, you know, Paul told me then, he's like, Dallas, I would love to help Jake not only get, you know, be able to come there, but, to, you know, be inducted because we both know he deserves to be inducted. But... He's got to, you know, sober himself up first, and you've already started that. You know, so it was uh, a year later, and he, he called me up, and he said, listen, we want to bring you in for, you know, old school Raw. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like, what do you want me to do? He said, I want you to do a little, do your thing, man. And he said, so what's Jake doing on Monday? I said, really? He said, really? I said, whatever you want him to do. Now, I know it's going to be the strongest shit I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> just go out and feel it. Just, just friggin', if, and I will have something planned that I'm going to say. Yeah, loosely but, about but, you. But knowing, no, I'll know what I'm going to say before I walk up there. That doesn't mean I'm going to say it. When Jake, uh, when Jake came to Raw, he came separately from me. He went, they flew him into D.C., which was, you know, 80 miles away, sure. they drove him in, stuck him in a bus, no one saw it was hush, him. Hush. Yeah. No one knew till he walked through that curtain, because even walking him to the stage, no one saw him, because they kept him waiting oh, around from everybody. So the boys in the back, I just wanted to watch them go, oh, Jake, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it was awesome. That is cool, that is really cool. Yeah, I even wondered when I saw that, did the guys in the ring know he was coming well, they, to Shield? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. did. Ambrose, you know, just being, you know, Dean is an amazing worker, all those guys are, all the guys with shield of course cm punk speaks for himself um but uh <laughs> he laid the snake on him ambrose was laughing because what happened yeah, I remember that. the snake shit on him <laughs> that's, that's, that's what's what happened. Happened.